This is why the dogs of peace are so important to the future of Afghanistan. They have to clear thousands of square miles of countryside so that these refugees, these displaced people, can return. It's this reason why Mirawis, Rahimullah and Shamzulak have decided to work with the Dogs of Peace to clear Afghanistan of landmines so the millions of refugees can return home. The dogs start their training at around 8 to 10 weeks old about the same age as Jamie. But it takes a long time for these special skills to be learned. The man who works with the puppies is Bismullah, a former dog handler who lost his dog and an eye to a landmine. There are three things that make a good landmine detection dog. They must learn to recognize the smell of TNT. They must be obedient, and strangely enough, they must like to play. No, no, no. The secret to training a substance-sniffing dog is to make it obsessive. Not for the substance, of course, but for something else. And what better device to make the dogs obsess over than fun? In this case, the fun comes in the shape of a rubber ball. It's a conditioning system. It uses standard psychological theoretical principles in order to produce this detection tool. That ball becomes the focal point of its life and getting that ball into its mouth is the most important thing for that dog. Once you have that, you have a tool, a teaching tool, to create other kinds of behaviours. And although for the dog it becomes a game, for the trainer it's a serious business. Jamie begins his ball obsession training. He's put in a cage for five minutes at a time and watches the other dogs at play. He sees the fun the dogs are having and wants to join in. After a while, he's given the opportunity to play with a ball. He will eventually realize this is a reward for something he has done. He just has to make the connection. Although the most important thing for selecting a landmine detection dog is for the dog to enjoy playing, once the dog has been chosen, the emphasis shifts. From an operational point of view, the essential elements are the ability to detect TNT and the discipline to work in a highly structured way. These dogs must learn to respond passively to the smell of TNT. To react otherwise could be fatal. Rahi Mullah is working with his dog Anthony. As they build trust in one another, Rahi Mullah is being taught that he must make Anthony work a straight line. This is so that he can have confidence that the area has been properly cleared and no mines have been missed. Meanwhile, Anthony is learning to connect the smell of TNT with receiving a ball as a reward. TNT is hidden and each time Anthony finds it, he gets rewarded with the ball. But how does the dog's nose know what it knows? Animal behaviorist Ian McLean says that dogs can easily distinguish the many scents that fill the air. They can easily tell the difference between the smells of pollens and plants or between rubber and food. They are especially sensitive to the smell of TNT. You can think of a mine as a signal device, signaling device. The mine is sending signals into the world and the dog is a detector. And the detection is done through the dog's nose or olfactory system as it's called, 
which is between 40 and 100 times more sensitive than yours or mine. This is because the part of the human brain that is used to decode smells is just half a square inch, whereas a dog's brain uses 20 square inches to decode the same information. Not only can a dog sniff many smells, it can separate them, something humans can't do. What the dog does is it actually sends out humid air, moist air, onto the ground by breathing outwards. It then pulls that moist air back in again. And the moist air appears to release the molecules of TNT or explosive, mine, mine signals, from the dust where it's sitting on the surface. The dog can then pull those odors back in and then you get the processing system, the, uh, the interior of the nose, has a signaling pathway, the signaling pathway moves up to the brain, the brain has been trained as a detection tool, the dog thinks, oh my goodness, ball, and we've won the game.